Hey, welcome back to another month in the lawn. It's the middle of May and yard season is completely underway. So I've been doing a lot of work around here. Let me take you around the yard and I'll show you what I've been working on. So I wanted to start over here by the side of the house because we got the most progress on this side of the yard. Uh, you can see that the grass is really starting to to green up. I've been cutting it currently at about three inches. It's starting to actually hold some stripes fairly well, but I still have some spots that are needing a little bit more recovery. Uh, I thought some of the areas had some dormant grass that was really taking a little bit longer to wake up, uh, but it turns out I dug down in one of those spots and found that I actually have some grub damage in different areas. So. I went ahead and applied an application of BioAdvanced Grub Killer, which has a main active ingredient of triclofilon, and that actually kills the grubs that are currently in the yard. And I watered that in, and then I went ahead about a week later and applied a fertilizer that had uh, grub preventative in it that's called aminocloprid and that will disrupt the life cycle of those grubs uh, and really kind of keep those at bay and that'll help with the moles as well uh, if you remember from the last video I had some moles that were digging around in the front of the yard uh, I went ahead and actually moved those traps from the front over to the side of the yard by my arborvitaes because I found that the moles in the front weren't active anymore. But I was able to actually catch a mole on the side of the house uh, there within a day or two. Now, as I'm walking around, there's a lot of progress uh, that we've done in terms of actually getting the yard ready here uh, for this upcoming Memorial Day. Uh, you can see that I've started to refresh some of these mulch beds. Uh, I like to sprinkle down a nice layer of preen to get those, uh, keep those weeds at bay, and I'll water that in. Uh, and then this year, since we still had a good base of mulch, I'm just putting a thin layer of mulch on the top. Uh, now, as we've been doing this yard work, of course, I had to start up my sprinkler system. Uh, and the manifolds and everything are located under this box. Uh, I went around uh, to each one of my six zones and started them up and found that as I was going around, one of my zones actually wasn't working. So uh, I had to pop off where my cover was to those manifolds and one of the valves actually had a bad solenoid. So I went ahead and replace that solenoid. Uh, it wasn't that difficult of a process, just two wires and uh, pop out the old one, screw in the new one, rehook it back up. Uh, I had to make sure that the water shut off while I was doing that. But now all of my sprinklers are back up and running. I did find that I actually had a leak in one of the manifolds, so I'll have to eventually replace that. We might work on that this next month. Now, as I'm going around the yard here as well, um, you'll notice that there is, in some of these areas, a good amount of dead grass. Um, that was because I do have a bagger, but last year I wasn't bagging a lot of my clippings. I was trying to mulch a lot of them. But over time, those dead clippings can really start to build up. So. I've been starting up in the front, um, pulling around a uh, pull behind dethatcher on my zero turn mower, and then bagging up all of those dead clippings. I really think that's going to help the grass breathe and the water to get down to the roots where it needs. And, you know, that fertilizer and everything as well. Now, as we get to the back here, I'm actually currently working on opening up our pool. So I have a lot of work in this back corner that needs to be done. Uh, we're filling it up with water right now, but you can see I have started this process of redefining some of these mulch bed edges here. And I have to do a lot of hand picking uh, with weeds, 
in this back area and throw down some weed killer and preventative back here. I have to get rid of this old tire that was used for a sandbox, but we'll put mulch all around this area and around the, the shed as well. Um, now, the grass in this area that I planted last season um, is still not quite the dark green color of the bluegrass that I really like. You know, we'll see if this darkens up at all, uh, but if it doesn't darken up, then maybe at the end of the, this season or possibly just next year, I may end up having to kill this off and go with something a little bit uh, better in terms of grass seed because, you know, having a clearly defined line with yellow grass versus green grass is not too appealing. So, um, you know, that'll be a work in progress. I'm not worried too much about it this year. Of course, as we make our way around to the side, our arborvitaes are mostly doing well. Of course, the one here on the end really has seen some better days. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to go ahead and replace that one. Uh, I may still possibly replace this one as well, just because that branch broke off in the winter, like I mentioned last video. But the big progress for today, uh, for this last month rather, has been the grading around the basketball court. So. I went ahead and spread out a whole bunch of dirt here and went through this process of prepping the area by hand um, for some grass seed. So I had to rake out and spread a lot of dirt and then I rolled it out um, uh, with a lawn roller just to kind of compact it a little bit. Uh, and then I went around and spread my grass seed. I actually went this time with uh, GCI's Cool Blue grass seed. I'm really interested to see how that will look um, in terms of having a mixture of the turf type tall fescue and some Kentucky bluegrass mixed in. Uh, it should be a much higher quality seed than what I used from Menards in the back corner over there. So lesson learned. Um, but after I rolled this out and spread the grass seed, uh, I pressed that grass seed in, uh, or I actually raked it out, pressed it in with the roller, and then uh, applied some fertilizer, some starter fertilizer with some tenacity built into it to help keep the weeds at bay while the new grass seed was growing. And then I've been watering it every day, multiple times a day with the sprinkler system now that that's up and running. Uh, and it's really starting to take off here in these last two weeks. Now, you may notice here in this section, we had a really strong storm uh, about a week ago that came through and unfortunately kind of washed out some of this here on this corner. You know, not a whole lot that I can do about that. Uh, for now, I may, um, in the future, bring in a little bit more dirt and throw down some more seed there and slowly start to build that corner up some more. But I'm happy with the way that this is turning out so far uh, and to see the progress of this grass starting to pop up. So that's going to be it pretty much for today. If you found this video interesting, feel free to uh, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates in the future. But that's going to do it for today. Hopefully, I'll see you all on the next one.